Hey, welcome back to the Two Car Garage. I'm Lucas, and uh, we got another quick project here. What we've got is a uh, fuel tank out of our 92 Chevy pickup, and that truck has been converted from fuel injection to a carburetor, and it had an external fuel pump on it. And uh, years ago, uh, well, 20 years ago, when I converted this truck initially, I just did a rough uh, conversion on the fuel pickup just to get things up and running. Well, after sitting in the woods for, you know, however long it's been, uh, the fuel pickup got pretty, uh, well, it got pretty rusty here. And uh, all these lines are, are pretty nasty. We initially just pulled the fuel tank out so we could inspect it, make sure everything was clean and it wasn't rusty inside. Turns out the tank is in really, really good shape inside. It's nice and clean. Uh, so we went ahead and cleaned up the outside and just slapped on some uh, some Eastwood uh, uh, rust preventative paint, and we're going to call that good. But the uh, sending unit here is is toast. So we went ahead and ordered a new one. Uh, we were just going to go to the junkyard and pick one up, but I figured it'd be best if we just had a brand new one. And uh, now we need to go ahead and get this uh, converted over to not have an internal fuel pump. And if you take a look here, uh, this is, again, this is the old one. What I initially had done, uh, you know, 20 years ago, is I just put an extension tube on here. I just used some compression fittings and just had a short length of tube. I took that tube off to, to use it someplace else. But we're going to do a, uh, well, we're going to do a better job this time around. So let me, uh, let me bring you up close and kind of show you what I'm thinking. All right, well, here are the two sending units side by side. And you'll notice that uh, on the old one here, we've got this, this brass nut. And that was a, just a compression fitting to allow me to put this extension tube on here. Now, this, this tube originally went all the way down to the bottom of this little, little pickup down here. I just had to cut a chunk off to use uh, someplace else. But the issue I had with this is... Uh, well, really twofold. One, there was no uh, screen on the end of the end of the tube. It just was drawing up straight fuel. Not really a big deal. It ran into a fuel pump first, but uh, I would rather have a pickup screen on here. The other problem uh, is that I don't have the option really to convert this back to a fuel injection tank. Our plans long term here are eventually to put fuel injection back in this truck. We're probably going to do an LS conversion on it. And when that happens, we're going to need to have uh, a high pressure pump again. And really, I want to have it in the tank. So you'll notice here that I actually clipped this tube short uh, in order to get past this little this little depression in the tube so my my compression fitting would actually work that essentially eliminates the electric fuel pump completely I do want to be able to convert back and so this time around I am not going to be using a compression fitting I'm just going to be using the fuel hose that came with the the new pickup unit here so this is uh, meant to connect to your your pickup tube and to your new electric fuel pump uh, should you put an electric fuel pump in here. What we're going to do is we're just going to connect it directly to, to a steel pipe here. Now after I got this new pickup and I was getting ready to put things in, I, I really wanted to figure out a way that I could set it up so I could convert back to an electric fuel pump if I want. But more importantly, I wanted to have a screen on the pickup tube. So the first thing I tried here is I just picked up one of these uh, pretty standard socks. Um, I got this on, on Amazon. It fits a 3 8 inch tube and uh, really my plan was just to connect it straight up to the pickup tube here with my rubber hose and call it good enough. <clears throat> Truthfully, this is probably just fine and it's gonna work out great. But I wanted to go a little bit different route here. Included with the new pickup unit was one of these new socks that's supposed to clip on the bottom of your fuel pump. So 
It's got a little bit better looking screen than, than this guy here. Uh, it's also meant to sit on the bottom of the tank, so it's going to constantly be submerged in fuel. Uh, and all in all, you know, it's closer to the original design. And the problem is, is I needed to figure out a way to connect this to a 3 8 inch pickup tube. And here's what I've done. I actually just took and machined, uh, this happens to be bronze because it was the only thing I had large enough to, to do this, but I just machined a little, little bronze end here and then I brazed that to the end of a piece of tube here and this now fits this sock exactly like it would fit uh, if this was a fuel pump. So now I can push the sock on here and it's just a press fit. Now you'll notice I put a little uh, barb on the end of this tube here and that is just so when I put my hose on there it doesn't doesn't have a chance to pull off. Uh, I simply did this by just putting this in my um, my double flaring tool uh, for flaring steel tubing and this is just step number one. So all it did is it, as it compresses it gets it ready to fold in for the uh, for the actual double flare and I just stopped there. So that gives you a nice clean barb here on the end of this hose or the end of the tube so when I put my hose on here once I put my clamp in there we know this isn't gonna isn't gonna slide off. But now I've got my sock pressed onto the end of my steel tube and when I go to install this now once I get this pressed up onto the pickup tube here once I get everything pressed in the right spot we now have this set so this will actually sit down near the bottom of the tank it basically will sit on the bottom of the tank the same as it would if this was a the electric fuel pump. So essentially we just replaced the electric fuel pump with a piece of straight tubing. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now one last thing I am going to do here, there is a little little silencer cushion that comes with the uh, comes with the kit. Again this is meant to insulate your electric fuel pump and normally it would sit on the inside of this little this little bucket here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it on the bottom side, on the outside here. Because it just fits in right like that. And now when I press my sock on here, that's actually going to help hold that from rattling around and moving. And so there we go. Now we've got a pickup tube that has a factory style sock on the end. And uh, really this thing, you know, once we get a couple clamps on here, get things adjusted where we want them, we can go ahead and drop it in. And finally the, the last thing we need to take care of here is actually connecting the fuel lines on the outside of the tank that go up to the up to the motor. Now this you'll notice has three lines coming out of it. We've got our feed line that would have been connected to the fuel pump. We have a return line that just dumps back into the tank and then this guy right here is just a vent line that runs up to the charcoal canister. We only need two of the three because we're just running this with an external pump to a carburetor. We don't have a return line. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, we're just gonna cap this one off. We are gonna be using the vent line because that is gonna be necessary to, you know, not draw a vacuum in the tank because it does have a sealed uh, fill unit. So that will still be connected and run to the front. And for now, we're just gonna leave it plugged into the original charcoal canister just because it'll act as a filter. Uh, that leaves us with the, the feed line. So this will actually come out and connect to my external fuel pump. The issue we have is figuring out how to connect to this. Uh, when I first did this conversion, I, I didn't mess with any of this. I used the original fuel lines. When I got up to where the carburetor is, uh, I actually just cut the hose right there, um, or I cut the fitting and just used a rubber hose to connect from the original fuel line to the carburetor. Well the fuel lines that were in the truck they're they're pretty well toast. They're really really rusty. Uh, the rubber's getting kind of cracked and, and brittle and well frankly we just don't trust it. So we're gonna be replacing the fuel lines but I'm not going with the stock style fuel line. Uh, it's just way way too expensive. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run uh, just some 3 8 fuel line up to the front of the car. 
the problem still exists though how do we connect to to the sending unit i don't want to modify this if i can avoid it because again if we go back to fuel injection and if we want to use the original connector we still have it my initial plan was just to lop this end off and just hook a hose right up to it but uh, i think we can do things a little bit nicer here so what i finally decided on uh, in order to fix this situation here is i just took the original fuel lines which were all rotten and rusted out and i actually just took the fittings that go on the sending unit and i just removed the rubber hose so this this is it right here and basically it was just a compression fitting uh, this slid inside and then they compressed the steel around it so what i've done is i just simply cut the i cut the steel sheath here and then that allowed me to pull the connectors off of the the hose you'll notice just how bad this actually is you can see all the pitting and stuff so both of these both of these uh, fittings are pretty nasty what i've done is i went ahead and i wire brushed them uh, just to get rid of all the scaly rust and then i did soak them in some uh, phosphoric acid to help chew up the rest of the rust and once all the rust was completely dissolved uh, i went ahead and wire brushed them one more time and then i just heated these guys up and dropped them in some oil you'll see that they're all nice and nice and black and they actually have a, a kind of a sealer coat on them just to kind of stave off any future rust um, is it going to be permanent now nah, probably not but it's better than just putting raw steel on there and i really didn't want to paint it because uh uh, well, really, I'm, just, I'm in a hurry. I just want to get done. So that's what we did here to kind of weatherproof these. So now you'll see that if I take this fitting here, this is going to be our, our feed line that will connect to our electric fuel pump. That will connect right on here. And now I can just stick a hose right on the end of this, run that right to my fuel filter and then my fuel pump, and uh, we're in business. For the return line, I went ahead and, and cleaned up that fitting as well. And what we'll do on this one is I'll just get this installed and I'm just gonna, I'll just put a rubber cap on there. Again, not modifying these it gives me the option in the future to convert back to a high pressure system with a, with a return line, uh, should we actually wanna do that. So that's, uh, that's kinda it, that's, the, that's my thinking behind all of this. Um, I guess really at this point, it's just a matter of slapping everything together, dropping it in the tank, and then uh, getting this sucker put back in the truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting things together and then uh, I'll see you at the end here. All right, before I get to assembling this, I just wanted to show you one thing. I did go and modify this real quick. You'll notice there's a little bit of a, a groove cut in here. And uh, the reason for that is when I actually went to put this together, uh, the two little tabs that are on this sock are meant to grip the plastic on the end of the pump and they just kind of dig in and that's what holds it on there when i put this together they bent out of the way and they would no longer grab uh, at least as tightly as i wanted it to in fact you'll notice it still pops off pretty easily here so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and bend these two little these two little tabs back out And now, when I slide this together, they're actually gonna lock in that little, that little groove I put in there, and that'll prevent this thing from, from falling off down the road. So, just a quick little, quick little modification there. Now that we got the sock on there, we can go ahead and uh, get that installed on the, on the actual pickup here. So what we'll do is, again, I've got my little, my little isolator here, just to kind of hold that in place. I'm gonna slide this up, and we'll go up about, about to there. It should still give me plenty to, to grip up here. And now, this should, all slide together here nicely
and there we are. So now this is all held fast. There's not much of a gap here. So really all I gotta do now is slap my clamps on there. We'll adjust the sock so it sits correctly in the tank and we should be good to go. So, all right, there it is. This is now all set to go in. So we got the sock pointing in the right direction. I got that pointing towards the rear of the tank. Uh, everything's nice and tight. Uh, these clamps are not the clamps that were included with the kit. The original clamps were these crimp on style. I don't have the proper crimping tool for that. So instead of using this, I just went ahead and used these uh, fuel injection style clamps. I actually like these better. They are removable and they hold much better than standard hose clamps. So that is that. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of silicone grease here, just a, just a little bit, and put that on the ring. This is going to make sure that this, this O-ring can actually kind of squish and move around and not get caught up on anything. Again, I'm not going crazy here. I just want enough to make this slippery. And that should take care of that. So now we can drop that right down where it belongs. I went ahead and double checked to make sure the tank was nice and clean. There's no dirt that's fallen in there in the time it's been out of the car. And so now we can go ahead and uh, drop this guy in place here. And there we have it, all wrapped up. So the sending unit's in, everything's nice and tight. We went ahead and put the fittings on for the, uh, the feed line and the return line. Again, we're gonna we'll cap the return line and just use the 3 8 feed for now. But really, all that's left is to slap this up in the truck, get all of our hoses hooked up and, uh, and call this part done. So, I don't know, that's all I got. Thanks for hanging out and, uh, you know, Till the next one, I'll see you around.